Check, yeah, check, 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 check. Number 15, 15, 15, 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Lee, Lee, Mike, Lee, Mike. Y'all both got it? All right, y'all y'all got that. That's Lee.
the light, light of the world. Jesus is the light, light of the world. Jesus is the light. unto my path. I'll give the Lord praise if you're happy to be alive on tonight. Give the Lord praise because 51 years ago today, 
the Lord started doing a work here in West Angeles where we weren't exactly here. We were somewhere else, but look where God has brought us from. Look at where we are today. Look at all of the lives and the people who have been touched by the work of the Lord through the ministry of Bishop Charles Blake here at West Angeles Church. Oh, somebody give the Lord praise on tonight. We welcome each and every one of you to Sunday night service at West Angeles Church. Beloved, you know what I want you to do next? I want everybody to stand up in the house of the Lord on tonight. I want you to go to your brothers and sisters in Christ and greet them in the name of the Lord. No need to be acting all stuck up on tonight. Go to your neighbor and welcome them to church on tonight. Amen. of the world one more praise on tonight. Let's give them another praise as we are seated. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to give the Lord some praise on tonight. I think that somebody's going to get healed in here on tonight. I think that somebody here is going to find peace for a troubled soul and troubled thoughts. I believe that somebody is going to get lifted. Somebody is going to get inspired. I feel oh, so excited about being here with you on tonight. I can feel the energy of the spirit in the room right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, beloved, we're going to begin our time together on this evening now with our very, all right, everybody simmer down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even though we're in our concert, this is still the house of the Lord. And we come to give him some praise on tonight, amen? I can promise you we are going to be able to cut loose as much as we want in just a few moments. But beloved, right now, let's give the Lord praise as we now have our very special announcements from our Boys of Hospitality. Well, good evening, West Angeles. And we send warm greetings to our online family. We thank you for logging on and joining us. Know that we love you with the love of the Lord, and we appreciate your support. At this time, we pause in our service to greet our visitors. So if you are visiting with us this evening, please stand and remain standing until you have been greeted, all visitors. Remain standing, please. On behalf of our pastor, Bishop Charles E. Blake, his lovely wife, Lady May, and the entire West Angeles family, we extend to you a warm and heartfelt welcome. We're so happy that you chose West Angeles as your place of worship on this evening, and we invite you to join in with us as we worship and praise the God of our salvation and as we enjoy the blessing of the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. 
It is our prayer that while you are here, you will open your heart and your mind to receive the very special blessing the Lord has prepared just for you. Now, our ushers are standing ready to provide you with a visitor's card. Please take a moment, fill out the card, and place it in the offering receptacle during that portion of our service. Once again, thank you for coming, and please, don't let this be your last visit, because you are always welcome. God bless you, and you may be seated. West Angeles, please keep the following bereaved families in your prayers. Faye Hobson, in the loss of her brother. The Mary Varnador family. Maggie Davis Kendrick, in the loss of her brother. Mexerine McMillan, in the loss of her brother. The Travis Johnson III family and Estella Smith in the loss of her sister. Funeral services will be held here in the North Campus for Mary Varnador on Friday, January 17th, 2020 at 11 a.m. This concludes my announcements. Please direct your attention to the screens for additional announcements. God bless you. in the North Campus, rooms one, three, and five. Refreshments will be served. Hello, this is Presiding Bishop Charles Blake. I would like to extend a personal invitation for each of you to attend the Church of God in Christ 2020 Leadership Conference here in Los Angeles, California, January 20th through the 23rd. We prepared informative classes and workshops that will enhance your vision for 2020 with relevant, effective, and impactful speakers. Join me on Thursday, January 23rd, when I, along with other Kojic leaders, will be taking your questions on what has led to the growth and success of the local church. You don't want to miss this gathering of leaders from around the country at the 2020 Church of God in Christ Leadership Conference. Please go to kojic.org for additional information and to register today to attend this dynamic conference. We look forward to seeing you here in Los Angeles, January 20th through 23rd. God bless you. reverence to the Lord, we're going to ask you to gently bow your heads to him as we go before his throne and invoke his presence on tonight. Father, we thank you for who you are. We love you with all of our hearts. 
We thank you for allowing us to assemble ourselves together in the sanctuary to celebrate our leader, the illustrious Bishop Charles Edward Blake, and commemorate, Lord, 51 years of effective, powerful, loving ministry. Hallelujah. You truly have manifested your word in our lives. As stated in Jeremiah 315, that you will give us pastors after your own heart that shall feed us with knowledge and understanding. And Lord, we want to thank you for the wealth of knowledge that you've infused Bishop Blake with. And Lord, the understanding that he has, Lord, regarding souls. Bless this service tonight. Let the fellowship be sweet, O oh God. Let your love flow from breast to breast like Niagara Fall. And we give you all of the glory. Let every song that is sang be anointed, O oh God. Every word that is uttered glorify you and edify the people of God. And we say long live Bishop Blake and his lovely wife, May Blake. Long live Bishop Blake. And his lovely wife may break longevity of life. We give you glory. Come on and clap your hands and thank God in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. going to take a chance on the scriptures tonight. I, I, I think somebody around here wants to praise the Lord. That's what I think. So, so here we go. Let's try these. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. This is the word of the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hey, come on, we've 
come to do our dance and magnify him. Hey, we come to do our dance and give him praise. Everybody in the house, hey. Come on, give him praise in the dance. Come on, we come to do our dance and magnify him. Hey, we come to do our dance and give him praise. Everybody in the house, hey. We come to do our dance. Give him glory, glory. We come to do our dance.
Lift those hands, everybody. Open your mouth and begin to give him praise. Hallelujah. You made a way, God. When our backs were against the wall, it was you that made a way. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Come on, open your mouth and give him praise. Come on, open your mouth and give him praise. Come on, put the fruit of your lips. Give him glory. Give him worship. We adore you, God. We magnify your name. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless your name, God. You made a way. When our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a standing here only because you made a way come on you come on made a way come on when our backs were against when our backs were against the wall and it looked and it looked as if it was so come on you you made a way and we're standing here and we're standing here only only because Come on, say it again. Say you, you made a way. Come on, say it with us. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over. Come on, say you, you made a way. Come on, say you, you made a way. And we're standing here, and we're standing only because, only because you made a way. And declare it. You made a way. Come on, sing it to the Lord. Say you, you made a way. Come on, say you, you made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. Come on. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Come on. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. Don't know how. You made a way. Don't know how. Sing it to him when our backs, when our backs were against the wall, and it looked, and it looked as if it was over. And we're standing here, and we're standing here, only because you came, and we're standing here, only because you came. Yes, and we're standing. Only because you made a way. 
And if he's made a way for you, come on and put your hands together and give God praise. Hallelujah. And certainly that is the testimony of our pastor and first lady, the leader, the angel of this house. They have made their arrival. Let's put our hands together and bless the Lord for Bishop and Lady May L. Blake. He's made a way for them. And we're so grateful. Listen, a couple of housekeeping notes that I need to make really quick. There are some cars that are blocking the alley, completely blocking the alley. Now, we just saying that he made a way, but listen, if you get a ticket, we, West Angeles, is not going to make a way for you. Come on. So you need to go and move your car. Those of you that are parked in the alley or even in this area here, blocking this area, you need to move your car because the police are on their way and so are the tow trucks. And so you want to make sure that you have a way home. Come on. All right? Is that all right? Secondly, 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 West Angeles choir members, come on, let me see your hand. Okay, West Angeles choir members, I need you to come up to the choir stand. There's still some people on the way. There are people in the lobby trying to get some seats. Come on, West Angeles choir members. West Angeles, West Angeles. Those that know what to do in the choir stand. Come on. West Angeles choir members. Come on, give them a hand as they come. That's beautiful. And now those spaces that have become available, I need everybody to just move in. Let's make room for everyone that is coming in. Hallelujah to Jesus. Beautiful. Thank you, choir members. West Angeles choir members. Yes. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Hasn't this choir been good all day long? Come on, let's praise the Lord for the West Angeles Choir. Now, some of them have come a little casual tonight because they were not expecting to be in the choir stand. But they don't come to church like that. Amen. Amen. For ministry. Well, God bless you and you may be seated. As you know, we are here tonight to celebrate God for the exemplary leadership of two of God's choicest blessings to us. Bishop and Lady May are certainly a gift. And when God gives a gift to his people, the appropriate thing is to say, okay, come on, let me hear you. The appropriate thing is to say, so I want Bishop and Lady May to be seated, but I want the rest of us to stand on our feet and give a rousing applause. Come on, give a rousing applause. You can do better than that. Lift the roof off this place. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. And so to continue on in our celebration, Deacon David Moore and his lovely wife, Sister Colette Moore, are going to come for a few moments and share about how West Angeles has impacted them and in particular, these wonderful leaders that sit before us on tonight. Come on, let's put our hands together for Deacon Moore and his lovely wife, Colette. Good evening, West Angeles family. As Dr. J said, we are David and Colette Moore, and we have been members here for 25 plus years. Praise God. So we've experienced half of the 51 years, and we're excited about the next 51. 
When we moved to Los Angeles in 1994, we visited many churches in the Los Angeles area. But we kept returning to West Angeles. Even though the line was down the block, we kept coming back and coming back. And we found ourselves that this was the place for us to be. And we've been members now for over 25 years, blessed by the preaching, the teaching, and ministry of Bishop and Lady May. We knew we had joined the right church when we saw Bishop and Lady May at the movie Preacher's Wife in the Beverly Center. We ran over to introduce ourselves as new members, and they were so welcoming to us. And we see that welcoming spirit that permeates this ministry. Amen. And welcome is what the church does, and it starts at the very top. And that's one of the things that we know about Bishop and Lady May is that they love people. They love the people of God, and we are so happy about that. And as you look at the years of uh, West Angeles, you see how God, through Bishop and Lady May, are serving the needs of the people, finding out what the needs are, and then creating avenues for all of us to be able to serve. So we're here to love our neighbor as ourselves. And I'll say that it starts with our first neighbor. My first neighbor is David. And through, <laughs> and through our Couples for Christ ministry here, I've been learning to love him more and more like Christ would love him. Amen. Amen. With the heart of Jesus, and I'll say that Bishop and Lady May supported our church-wide renewal of vows in 2017, and I believe it helped us to forge a stronger marriage, and we hope that it did the same for other marriages that participated in that renewal. And so I love observing in this marriage, too, how uh, Lady May, as a married woman, how she supports Bishop's vision, and she goes to work to make it happen and to make West Angeles a great church. Amen. 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 When you think of the Blakes, you think of compassion. Bishop and Lady May care so much about us as a congregation. Lots of folk talk about how much they care, but Bishop and Lady May show it all the time. They're always thinking of us, praying for us, and teaching us. Amen. And Lady May, she is truly a woman of excellence. Um, I, I love watching Lady May because she attends to the details. And anybody that has worked with Lady May, any of the women here that have worked with Lady May, you know that she's paying attention to the details. But why? So that it can make all of the guests and everybody that comes feel really comfortable and get what they need. And so we love that. And I've observed how she's been doing this over the years. So she's special to to me, to us as a congregation, so much so that during the 50th year of service, the Lord laid on my heart to do something to honor Lady May and something that she didn't have to work for. Because <laughs> when Lady May does stuff, she does a lot of work, right? Any events, you all know, she puts it on and she's working while she's doing that. So we wanted to just love on her. And because of David's role in Deacon's Wives, as a deacon, thank you, Bishop, I'm also the chair of the Deacon's Wives. Didn't know I had that role at first, but anyway... <laughs> Bishop is working on leadership in the church, amen? <laughs> and so through that role, though, we put together something where we wanted Lady May, to, for, uh, for her to know that we see her. And so, Lady May, we see you. We see your creativity. We see how gracious you are, how smart you are, how industrious you are, and how virtuous, how thoughtful, and you are very, very funny as well. And you are precious, and you are loved. Amen. Bishop Blake is a man of excellence, loves God, loves his wife and family, loves God's people. He's extremely intelligent, has a great knack for business, organizational and time management skills are exceptional, and how he treats people is worthy to be imitated. His, his integrity is renowned. Bishop has a great sense of humor. I stand in awe of Bishop and how he has time to do all the amazing things that God has called him to do. Because of Bishop, Lady May, and the ministry of West Angeles, I'm better spiritually, a better husband, better father, better friend, and a better businessman. Amen. And as we were going through the list of attributes for you guys, we can see how God put y'all together, actually, because they're very similar. So the other thing we want to share is that Bishop talks about thinking big. And we are so gracious. God inspires me all the time through Bishop's messages, through Lady May's kind words. 
And so I was reminded when I was, I worked corporate America and had my own business, closed my own business, got a new job I did, wasn't even asking for. And all along, Bishop was always so encouraging. And this is what he'll say, and you guys have heard this before, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. And that's Ephesians 3.20. And that is an anchor scripture for you all. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. And look what he's done for West Angeles over Amen. these 51 years. Amen. Amen. So Bishop reminds us, keep dreaming. Don't let anything stop you. You may have obstacles in the way, but keep going. Dreamers are still coming, Bishop. Amen. 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 Blessings. We have experienced tremendous blessings since being at West Angeles. We face life's challenges, but we know West Angeles is the right place at the right time for us. In Ezekiel 34 and 26, the Lord says, And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause shower to come down in his season. There should be showers of blessing. And we have experienced showers of blessings here at West Angeles in these 25 years. So we are grateful that God caused us to invest in building his kingdom as co-laborers under the direction of Bishop and Lady May. We are invested and already have received a mighty return for what has been sown into us and our family. West Anderson is a great church with great leaders whom we love. As a good friend of Bishop's, Pastor E.V. Hill III would say, Bishop, I'm going to add, and Lady May, whatever you ask, the answer from David and Colette is... Yes. yes. God bless you. We love you both. Come on, let's put our hands together for them one more time. I'm sure that if we had the opportunity to pass this mic around the room, each of us would have a great testimony of how Bishop and Lady May has impacted our lives. And so tonight, we're going to be celebrating. We're going to be giving God praise. So don't ever get tired of clapping and giving honor to whom honor is due. Let's give them their flowers while they can smell them. If the Lord has blessed your life through the lives of Bishop and Lady May Blake, come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Well, a man that shows himself friendly has a lot of friends because the Bible says that if you want friends, you have to show yourself friendly. And Bishop and Lady May has some few special friends here tonight that have come to celebrate in this momentous occasion. First, we have the supervisor of the Department of Women of the Church of God in Christ Everywhere, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. She is with us on tonight. God bless you, Mother. Thank you for coming to celebrate with us. We also have Supervisor Barbara Bryant here from Los Angeles, California, preaching machine. Superintendent Chuck Gibson, who just led us in prayer a moment ago. God bless you, man of God. Supervisor Frances Harris and her, and her husband, Pastor Jerry Harris, we honor God for you tonight. And their son, David, Pastor David Harris. Let's praise God for him. We thank God for Pastor Quincy Fielding being here tonight. Let's praise God for him. And I know we've asked all of the guests to stand, those of you that are not members of West Angeles, but everyone that has traveled to be here tonight that are not members of West Angeles Church, I want you to stand at this time. Come on. Let's allow our pastor and first lady to see how many people, amen. Thank God for you, pastor, amen. We thank God. And a very special friend all the way from Copenhagen, Denmark. He is a gospel uh, extraordinaire. His name is Hans Christian. I'm gonna ask him to stand at this time and let's welcome him to the house of the Lord. God bless you. Let's praise God for our assistant pastor, Pastor Charles Blake II. Amen. We thank God for you, man of God. 
And why don't you give yourselves a hand? Come on, everybody, give yourselves a hand. And in that spirit, it is offering time. It is time to sow. And what better atmosphere and ground to sow in tonight than the ground of this church, which has not only been declared debt-free, but is debt-free. And as we give tonight, I want to remind you that the Lord gives to us over and over again. And in the scriptures, we are constantly reminded of the giving nature of God. Let me just highlight a few as you prepare to give. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57 says, But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 3 and verse 34 says, He gives grace to the humble and the lowly. James 1 and 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men. Isaiah 40 and 29 says, He gives power to the faint. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 says, It is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. And so tonight as we give, let us keep in mind, hallelujah, that we are to give glory and honor and worship unto his name. On this day, set aside to celebrate the fact that God has literally, by his grace, allowed this church to be free from a $65 million debt. I don't know about you. I, I, I think you got to get a little bit more excited. Can you imagine the weight that is lifted off of the shoulders of our leader? Over, oh, come on, come on. God has done better than you're praising him. $65 million. Glory to God. And so this is what I'm going to ask you to do tonight. I want each and every one of you, those of you that can and those of you that will, to join me in giving a special gift of $51. $1 for each year our leaders have been leading without scandal, I've been here at West Angeles for a combined total of over 21 years, and not once have I had a payroll check bounce. Now, I don't have that witness in some other places I've been. Come on, somebody. Not once have I had to wait on my check. Come on, staff, you know what I'm talking about. This is a house of integrity. This is a house of faithfulness. This is a house of dedication. And so tonight, we're going to sow into this house. Now, some of you can do more. I don't want to limit you in your giving. Some of you can give $501. And I'm talking also to those of you that are watching online. Some of you can even give $5,001. Some of you must do less. Some of you may give $5 and one cent. But everyone tonight, I want you to give, and I want you to give joyfully, knowing that you're sowing into good ground. Listen, the week after Bishop Blake announced the fact that the debt was eliminated, the Lord gave me a little song, and it says, this is my season for a breakthrough miracles signs and wonders and this is the word that he gave me miraculous occurrences God's gonna do it can you look at your neighbor and say I believe God for miraculous occurrences listen I'm getting ready to get out of the way so I'm gonna ask all of you that will join me in giving 51 dollars on tonight I want you to stand those 
that are going to give $51. And those of you that don't have your checkbook, you can text West A to 41444. You can text West A to 41444. Thank you. I see you. And not only am I giving a $51 seed in my offering tonight, I'm giving another $51 for overflow. Somebody say overflow. There's some things that I need God to do for me this year that I'm believing for. And I'm sowing in expectation of what he's going to do. Somebody say overflow. And so tonight, those of you that can do more, I want you to stand as well. I may not have called your number out, but that's okay. God sees your heart. Thank you for those of you that are standing with me for $51. Thank you so very much, ma'am. Thank you so very much, sir. My brothers and sisters, thank you so very much. Listen, we're, because we are kind of full tonight and we want to get to hear Dr. Kurt Carr, we're going to ask everyone to stand and we're going to do it this way. The ushers are going to come from the back, but this is what I want you to do. I want you to pass your gift after we pray to the center aisle between the two sections. But this is what I want you to do. When you stand and you pass your offering, I want you to watch your money. Come on, somebody say, watch it, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch your money. Yeah. And the last person on each row is going to be your representative. And when you see that offering going into that bucket, I want you to give God the best praise you can give him knowing that you are actually sowing it into good ground. Amen. All right, everyone stand. Come on, everyone stand. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Even if you don't have anything to give, everyone stand. Let's do this collectively. Can you lift that gift to the Lord? Father, thank you for the opportunity to give this seed. It is a seed that we sow into good ground. Father, I ask that you would multiply it and for the sake of your kingdom, we pray, God, that then it would cause to be given, to multiply, and then to boomerang back into our lives in the manner that we need it the most. We thank you, gracious Father, in Jesus' matchless name. Thank God. Amen. All right, this is what I want you to do. Hold that gift high. Hold that gift high. And musicians, give us some hallelujah music. Come on. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah. All right. This is what I want you to do. Begin to pass your offering. Pass it to the section in the center. Come on. Watch your money. 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 And when you see it go into the bucket, I want you to give God some praise. Come on. Give him glory. That's it. Yeah, come on, believe God for your miracle. That's it. Come on, can somebody shout hallelujah? Say hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Say hallelujah. 
house. Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Has everybody been served? Has everybody given? Hallelujah. Well, the moment we have been waiting for in celebration of our pastor and first lady, as we stated this morning, we could think of no other musical guest to bring to assist us in celebrating these wonderful gifts to us. You know him from in the sanctuary. I almost let go. I never lost my praise. Jesus, something special supernatural about that name and as I stated this morning my personal favorite soldier on he is a prolific writer musician and as he shared with us this morning now he owns a record company and we're so godly proud So godly proud of him and that accomplishment. And I know that he is going to utilize it to open doors for many individuals. One of the things I love about Kurt, as you know, he served here for many years at West Angeles Church. And he uh, was also instrumental in helping to craft the sound of West Angeles during that time. And one of the things I really loved about him is that he knew who he was, but he knew where he was. I'll say that again. He knew who he was, but he knew where he was. And he followed faithfully. He and I worked like hand in glove. Never had an argument. Never had a disagreement that you all know about. Come on, somebody. Because we covenanted. That we may have disagreement, but when we walked out of the door of the office, nobody would ever know about it. And that's why I called him my brother. I believe that the best is yet to come for him. And I believe that your presence here tonight is not only in celebration of these wonderful gifts, again, that the Lord has given to us, but also in honor of this awesome man of God that's going to come before us now with his wonderful group to sing and to show appreciation to the Lord for what the Lord has done. So West Angeles and friends, would you please join me in welcoming the one and the only, I call him the maestro, Dr. Kurt Carr and the Kurt Car singers, come on, come on, let them hear you. Come on, keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling.
Anybody believe there's a miracle waiting for you now? Pray! I say we getting ready to have some church in here. Pray. The devil is a liar. Come on, cut those hands. Come on, say it. The presence, the presence of the Lord is here. Presence, the presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. Yeah. 
knows that song? The beginning and the ending. Hallelujah. But that middle part. My, my voice teacher in high school said, if you don't know the words to a song, if you stand boldly and say watermelon, no one will know. I saw a whole watermelon patch over here. Come on. Can't you see go? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon patch. Stop. I wonder if I could get one person that's brave enough to run up here. You know all the words. One person. Come on, you better, you're going to miss your blessing. Who knows all the words? Who knows all the words? Come on, come on. What's your name? Roman. Roman? Everybody say Roman. This is L.A. Ready? Yes, sir. Can't you see him working on the house? And I can feel him moving on the end. So come on in to him and cast your hands on him. He'll open up the window, pour you out of life. When the Lord steps in and gives you everything you need, healing, power, and victory is all up to you. Whatever you need him to do, just trust him and believe in him. I can feel that. I can feel that. Come back, come back. God bless you, good night. So look at somebody, say, you know you should have came up there. I want to bless you with $100 after the service for your obedience. God bless you. Can't you see him working on the outside? So come on, enter in. And cast your hands on him. He'll open up the window for you out of bless. Cause when the Lord steps in, he gives you everything you need. He'll be power, this time. I'll love to you, whatever you need to do. Yeah. 
so excited to be home tonight. This is home for me. And I want to know, is West Angeles in the house tonight? I need West Angeles to make some noise in here tonight. Such a blessing to be here on this particular occasion. The burning of the mortgage of our cathedral. For those of you that don't know, I spent almost 20 years here working and laboring in the music department along with Judy and all of the other amazing gifts in the body of Christ here at West Angeles. Many of the songs that I've written that have gone around the world and blessed the saints were composed right in this sanctuary. Can we work on that ring, please? One thing I know about West Angeles, it stands for excellence in everything. Amen. Thank you. Many of the songs that I composed were right here in this sanctuary. And we're going to sing some old ones and some new ones. And in fact, on the count of three, yell out what songs you want to hear. One, two, three. What? How about this one? Glory and honor, dominion and power. Say it. Greater than all. Everybody say, God. Worthy of honor. Worthy of honor and glory. Stand here in heaven. Blessed in your presence. Forever and ever, I God. Y'all know that one. Y'all know that one.
dance and mime team did that at least 20 times. I am blessed to be standing on the stage with, without question, the greatest group of singers in the world. And uh, I, I'm just in awe every time I'm around them. I want Nikki to come. Everybody look at somebody and tell them, I don't mean to sound selfish. Everybody look at somebody and tell them, I don't mean to sound selfish. Tell somebody, but 2020 is my year. Everybody that's expecting something great from God in 2020, make... I went through too much hell in 2019 because the devil knew what was getting ready to happen. High five, somebody say, it's my year. It's my year. It's my year. Something great is gonna happen to me. Something great is gonna happen to me. It is my season to reap, so I shall receive great things, great things, great things. Oh, yes, yes, I really believe. Yes, I really believe. God's gonna shower me. Yes, I really believe. Gonna shower me. Yeah, I really believe God's gonna shower me. Yeah, yeah, with great things. How many of you believe come something on, great's on, gonna come happen? On. Come on, look towards your neighbor and say something, something great's gonna great. happen. Something great is gonna happen. So I shall be Something big, something marvelous, are ahead. 
Now I want to give you, I want to give you 30 seconds to open up your mouth and thank God that it's already come to pass. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens. Something happens when I mention. Where my Jesus lovers, where are you? Something special. Supernatural. Supernatural about your name. Jesus. Jesus. Something happens. Something happens when I mention your name. So, this happens to be one of Bishop Blake's favorite songs. He just stole it from me. He sings it everywhere. And I'd like to just take a second tonight to honor this man. I moved here in the late 80s to be music director for Reverend James Cleveland. I had no family here. And I came to West Angeles, and I used to sit right there every Sunday morning for about five or six years before I ever played a note. And I didn't even realize that Bishop Blake noticed me sitting there. After Reverend Cleveland passed away, I was at a crossroad. I didn't know if I was going to move back to Connecticut or, yes, they have black people in Connecticut. Bishop opened his heart to me and said, West Angeles is your home. Come over here and work with us. And I mean, y'all had heavy hitters, Patrick Henderson and Victor McCoy and Judith McAllister. Give it up for Judy McAllister. But Bishop Blake took a chance on me. He saw something in me I didn't see in myself. And because of the love that this church in this room right here gave me, my ministry was birthed and I've traveled all over the world. In the sanctuary has been translated into more than 200 languages, been to more than 40 countries. And I believe it's all because this man took a chance on me. And I thank you, Bishop Blake. What an example you have been. I was here for almost 20 years and we never had a crossword. We never had a disagreement. I've never seen you be anything but integral and he's a diplomacy king. He can slice your neck and he'd be like, did he just cut me? 
because he does it with such tact. And I honor you, and I am, this is one of the highlights of my ministry to be able to be here at the mortgage burning and um, to see that was just unbelievable and I was telling Sister Blake when I went into the cathedral it's so beautiful but I remember when it was dirt and this beautiful woman who's always perfectly she would be in there with a hard hat and dusty boots She's more than just pretty. This is a woman who can get it done. She does. Now, of course, her boots were probably Chanel, but... <laughs> but to see them, and what a lot of people don't know, when I was working here, they were here every single day at 8.30 in the morning, and would be here till five or six o'clock at night every single day so that we could have this church but then the cathedral and you know a lot of times people don't because it's not the burden wasn't on your shoulder you don't care but I have trouble managing my bill but imagine the weight of 60 million dollars on your shoulders it has changed this this Crenshaw corridor it has employed so many people. I think we should applaud better than that. You did it, man. You did it. Hey. Look at somebody said, if you had told me that 20 years ago, I would say it's impossible. But we're a witness what God can do. Everybody look at somebody and tell them, I'm getting ready to praise God for the impossible he's getting ready to do in my life. The impossible he's getting ready to do in my life. Everybody, this is Yvette. And a lot of you haven't seen her with us for a while. Yvette has been very, very ill for several years. And I won't go into all of the things that she's dealt with, but it's been one thing after, almost for three years straight. And about... I guess a year and a half ago, I got a call that said that she had had a massive stroke. I 
literally drove to the airport with what I had on, flew to Seattle. And when I got there, there were probes all over her head and she could not speak one word. And the doctor said there's a strong chance she would never sing or never speak again. But he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity. And by his stripes, we are healed. Is there anybody in here that's ever seen God work a miracle? Talk to me, talk to me. You're looking at a miracle right here. She could not say one word, but the Lord, the Lord stepped in. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus.
while Yvette was out recuperating, I recruited my friend from New Jersey. And I wanted to sing a little bit of this, and I want her and Yvette to sing it together. So get your phones out. anyone in here that's ever had to praise God in the valley, in the valley? Lorraine, take me to the valley. For every mountain you you brought me over for
give you praise. without a shadow of a doubt that you are blessed. You are blessed. I want Timothy to come. We have a brand new CD entitled Bless Somebody Else. And um, one of the songs on it that I love, Bishop Blake, it says, the Lord just keeps sending blessing after blessing after blessing. Is that anybody's testimony tonight that God just keeps sending blessing after blessing after blessing? Timothy is one of the greatest singers in the world. And we literally bumped into each other backstage at Radio City in New York. And sometimes you meet a person and it changes the trajectory of your life. Um, she's an awesome singer, but now she's a sure enough preacher. And I want her to sing a little bit of this song. Here I stand. Use this mic. With grateful hands. Pointed. Toward you to thank you for blessing after blessing, blessing after blessing. If you're thankful for another day, lift those hands and sing with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my family. My family. We've got a good life. We've got a good life. Anybody know you've got a good life? Thank you. Thank you for a good life. Thank you for a good life. Here I stand.
last year I had a search nationwide for a millennial. More than 500 people auditioned. And this young lady is 23 years old. And her name is Tia Askia. Sing that for me, Tia. Lord, you just keep sending blessing after blessing. Oh, Lord, you just keep sending blessing after blessing. Ooh, Lord, you just keep sending blessing after blessing. Oh, oh, blessing after blessing after blessing. Lord, you just keep singing blessing after blessing. When I look around and see, Lord, you just keep singing blessing after blessing. Oh, Lord, you just keep sending blessing after blessing. Oh, Lord, you just keep. Lord, you just keep. Lord, you just keep singing. Lord, you just keep singing. Lord, you just keep singing. you just keep singing. somebody a high five and tell them God just keeps on sending. God just keeps sending blessings. Blessing, blessing. 
told me B. Slade is here. Where is he at? Where is he? Come here, boy. One of the singingest men in the world. Here I stand with grateful hands lifted toward Thank you for blessing me, blessing me, blessing after blessing you, blessing after blessing after blessing. Lord, you just keep singing. Lord, you just keep singing, you just keep singing. blessing after blessing, 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 Jesus, Lord, Lord. You just keep singing. thank you for loving me, after keeping my mind like that, after loving me over and over again, again. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Lord, Lord, you just keep singing, Lord, you just keep me, yes, you do. I, I love you for loving me, loving me. Thank you for keeping me. When I almost lost my mind, you regulated my spirit. Keep 
ascending. Blessing after blessing. singers, the Kirk Carr singers, everybody.
three people around you tell them I owe God praise. Come on, tell somebody I owe God praise. Tell somebody I need some room, I'm getting ready to praise God. Come on, tell somebody I need some room, I'm getting ready to praise God. Come on, I owe, I owe you praise, 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 praise. I hear the five of you that are grateful. I owe you! I owe you! simply says, God bless you forever. Would you just look at somebody and tell them, God bless you forever. I don't know if I'll get to ever come back to this place and to be a part of this type of occasion but Bishop Blake I wish you long life I wish you long life and health not just for now but forever I thank you for everything you've sown into my life I honor you man of God Let's all say together. God bless you. God bless you. I want my choir to sing with me. Come on. God bless you. God bless you. May God. May God bless you. Forever. is together. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May God. May God bless you. Forever. Forever God bless Key change. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you. Everywhere I go. I'm going to Pray for you. I wish the best for you. I wish the best for you. Forever. Forever God's best for you. No music. May this blessing. May this blessing be forever. May this blessing be forever.
Give the Lord some praise on tonight. I wouldn't even know how to follow that except just to say, Hallelujah! I'm not even going to try to sing after that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know after that somebody was blessed. Come on, let's give the Lord another praise on to that. See how he is, how he has blessed and anointed some of us just to be able to take us before the very throne room of the Lord. Amen. But before everyone heads on out, amen, I wanted to extend an invitation to give your life to the Lord on tonight. I know the spirit of the Lord was here in the room on tonight. There may be someone here that has decided to take the step to enter into relationship with the almighty God that Brother Carr and the rest of his team were singing about on tonight. And it sounded great, but the only way that you will understand the true extent of what they were singing about is if you give your heart and soul to the Lord on tonight. Everyone standing, amen. But there, if there is anyone here that has made the decision to step into your destiny, to step into your fullest potential, and to move into relationship with Almighty God, all you have to do is raise your hand. It starts with just that movement right there. Let us all pray together. Dear precious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for sending your son to die for my sins. I want to thank you that he rose again on the third day. I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And I ask him into my heart right now. Please forgive me for the wrong that I have done. And please forgive me for the wrong that I have been. And I will live my life for you from this moment forward. And I will thank you for saving me and writing my name in your book of life. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Somebody just got saved on tonight. 
somebody online, if you're online and you got saved and you took this moment an opportunity to give your life to the Lord. We right on in. We want to hear from you. But if you are here in the building, we just want to spend a couple seconds with you. We want you to come on down here to the altar and we want to praise the Lord for you. We just want to greet you and love on you and welcome you to the body of Christ on tonight. So if you gave your life to the Lord on tonight, just come on down. Amen. Everybody in the house of the Lord saved on tonight? <laughs> right. Praise the Lord. Well, is there, is there anyone who would love to be able to join West Angeles? You have seen by what happened here on tonight that this is the church for you. And if that is you, just come on down. We'd love to have you as a member of West Angeles. We will be a better church because you are a part of the West Angeles family. Everybody members on tonight. Amen. Let's give the Lord another praise. And let's praise the Lord again for Brother Minister Kurt Carr on tonight. And let's also give the Lord praise as he comes before us. The angel of this house who has served West Angeles for more than for 51 years on today. Everybody, let's give a loud praise for our leader, Bishop Charles E. Blake Sr. Amen. Let's give Jesus a rousing applause. Did we have church tonight or not? Did we have church tonight or not? How many of you were blessed by what you heard, by what you experienced? Brother Kurt Carr is truly one of the great musicians and great creative individuals on the face of the earth. And how we've been blessed by his ministry of music and the entire group who came with him on this night. The others whom we should mention, let's praise God for Sister Judith McAllister. And Sister Sylvia Reed. Lady May and I are so very thankful for all of you who are here. Thank God for all the special guests who are with us on tonight. You're so welcome and we thank God that you've come to share with us our International Supervisor of Women over the entire Church of God in Christ. <laughs> Mother Barbara Lewis, let's give her a rising applause. I want to say that Lady May just asked me to get up and say a few words, and she's been a trooper all day long, and we praise God for her and these wonderful services. The best, wonderful, most wonderful wife on the face of the earth, Lady May L. Blake. I want to thank God also for the Sentinel representative of the Sentinel newspaper, Sister Cora. Jackson Fawcett, who's been throughout this entire service tonight from the Sentinel newspaper. Give her a rousing applause. It's been a wonderful 51 years, and we're looking toward the future. I've been on the job a long time. I'm going to stay on the job, but I'm going to put a few more people to work that you share some of the tremendous load and responsibility of this ministry. Unless your dream is big enough to require a miracle to bring it to pass, God will diminish your assets so he can get the glory. Gideon, how many soldiers do you have? I've got 32,000 soldiers. We're up against 100,000 Midianites, but I think we can win. We've got some expert soldiers. God said, you've got expert soldiers. I'd better cut you down. Get in, how many do you have now? I've got 10,000, but we're well organized. We've got a strategy. God said, you've got a strategy. I'm going to cut you down again. Get in, how many do you have now? Only 300. 
And there's no way we can win without a miracle from God. And God said, that's what I've been waiting on you to say. Now go on out there in my power and win the victory. Dream a big dream for God. Tell God you cannot do it if he does not help you do it. And he'll say, that's what I've been waiting on you to say. Now go on out there and do it for the Lord Jesus. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, pursue your dream. God will bring your dream to pass. Go on out there and do it in the name of Jesus. I see you in the future and you look much better than you look right now. Tell somebody else, I see you in the future and you look much better than you look right now. I see me. Say it, I see me in the future and I look much better than I look right now. Clap your hands and give praise. Dear Lord, we've dreamed great dreams. We've seen great visions. We've been inspired by what you've done to believe you even more. I pray somebody will look toward you and say, God, I can't do it unless you help me and perform a miracle. But dear Lord, if you've done this, help me to bring my dream to pass through your power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Let the whole church say amen and amen. God bless you.